Hi, I'm Christopher Dundigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Derby Large Dedicated LED Pendant. This is the 131042. This is the larger of the two sizes. Check out the smaller one, too. People are going to use this in all kinds of applications. It's great to go over kitchen islands. It could be used in bathrooms, in stairways, and hallways. Check it out. It's pretty great. Let's get into the size of the fixture itself, independent of what it's hanging from, and that's going to be coming in at about 14 inch high. This is actually a globe, so it's 14 inches across, 14 inches deep. It's actually 14.9 inches because you've got the metal parts on the side. The overall height that's a distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling is going to give you a pretty good range and those are fixed heights and it's going to start off at 32.9 that's going to be the shortest and it can go all the way to 58.6 so you basically have 32.9 next one is 43.4 last one is 58.6 but if you need this to be shorter than the short or longer than the long drop us a quick email and so you're looking at the 131042 and you need it to be X long, whatever your X is. So it could be 90 inches, 140 inches. Tell us what you need and we'll send that through Hubberton Forge's customs department and get an answer for you. This is slope ceiling adaptable in one direction. So it's a good thing to probably email me or call me so I can kind of walk you through that. Canopy up in the ceiling is 8.8 .8 inches in diameter. It's going to go over your standard 4-inch junction box. And I want to show you a little bit more information about that. How we're going to do it is we're going to look at the installation instructions really quick now. If you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how it all goes together, which is very simple. But it's going to show you some good line drawings of the inside of that 8.8 .8 inch round diameter canopy going on your ceiling and junction box and what it looks like inside because those drawings will show you an inside view as well as how the LEDs are set up down below. So it's good to know that. Um, this is only 14.8 pounds, so it's not very heavy, so you're good there. And what else? Let's talk about a couple other things. So let's get, there's lots of variation on this. So there's leathers, there's um, the accents, there's the branding parts of this, and you'll see those pull-down menus, and it's going to give you choices on these things. So let's talk about the leather to begin with. So the leather for these straps, and what these straps are all about are they're holding wires hiding inside of them. So you've got like two parts of your leather together. The wires are coming down from that canopy down into the fixture below, and <clears throat> what's traveling is a low voltage coming down. That canopy has a transformer and a driver for the LEDs down, down below. So it's pretty cool. The company that makes the leather straps is called Spinnyback, and they're the world's best leather company, one of the finest leathers in the world. I'll put a link down below so you'll be able to see um, on the page and go visit them. The people who stitch those together, all those straps, are here in New England as well. They're Appalachian Stitching, so you can kind of check them out too if you guys want to. So let's get into the leather. You have three different colors to play with. You're going to have a British Brown. That's the first one. After that, you're going to have Chestnut. And coming up on the end, you're going to have Black. So you've got three beautiful leather colors. And then the accent, when you're talking about the accent on this, it's going to be all of the parts that are not, the metal parts that are not that canopy. The canopy is going to be in black. You're going to have basically a polished nickel. That's going to be your silvery one. And the other option is going to be antique brass. So there you go. And then you have the globe down below, and you have the ends of the globe, the metal parts there. So you have kind of a medallion on each side. You have two choices for that. You can have the Hubberton Forge logo on it. That's one, and the other one is just going to be a decorative one without that logo. So it's up to you as well. Why don't we talk about um, what's going on inside of this as the lamping goes. So you want to know how much light's going to come out of it and how it all works. 12 watts of LED is going to be coming down from above into those LEDs down below. It's going to produce 540 lumens. That's quite a bit of light. The color of that light is the color we like to use in our showroom. It's warm white, soft white, 3000 Kelvin. Matter of fact, that's the light that's coming down on my hands on this desk. These are 3000 Kelvin LEDs above. It's also a dimmable fixture. So if you're going to be um, using this in applications where you want to dim it down, just make sure you talk to your installer and tell them it's a dimmable LED. I want to touch base on Hubberton Forge's opal glass for just a second. So all of Hubberton Forge's glass to begin with is going to be hand blown. This piece is hand blown first and clear, then they're going to come in and they're going to blow another layer of white glass on the inside of this 
The third step is they're going to take and they're going to sandblast the whole thing on the inside and the outside. That's going to give you this beautiful, mellow, translucent, milky piece of glass. When you look at this and you can see the layers are actually piled up on the inside of this. Hubbardson Forge is very obsessed about details on all of their pieces, including their glass. And that's why you're here, because you're probably just as obsessed about little details as well. Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display, and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces, and they're all the same size, and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.